There are a lot of achievements in EU4, and with the latest patches, there are even more so. Some people have all of them, but I am not one of those people. But I plan to be. I've been gone for two years, so there's a lot of catching up to do. Welcome back to the EU4 Completionist series. Let's get going and knock some of these out of the way. Hello everyone and welcome back to the E4 Completionist series. We actually are getting rid of the wheel that decides our campaigns and just choosing them on our own because, well, frankly, I can't be bothered and I want to play what I want to play and when I want to play it. So in this campaign, we are going for three achievements in particular, um, two that might be a little more difficult. The first being Jihad as Najd own 500 Sunni provinces. This should be pretty easy because of the changes to the Arabian tribes, as well as Desert Power. We're starting as an Arabian tribe, have the Oasis privilege enacted, and more than a thousand development in the Arabia region. A very Dune-themed achievement. We can also get Arabian Coffee for this one, as well as Sworn Fealty. So we're going to try for these four achievements and see how it goes. And let's fill you in on the plan. Alrighty guys, so the first part of our plan is the alliances. We need to ally the Ottomans to help us beat the Mamluks, who are our major threat at the beginning of the game. We cannot stand against them. They actually have the strongest starting army at the start of the game, so we're really going to need some defensive allies to help us beat up on them in case they attack, and also to call them in with favors. The second part is our ideas. We're going to be going for economic ideas to try and snowball our economy, um, and that'll help us with getting desert power. You might wonder why economic instead of like religious ideas. Well, that's because Najd already has probably one of the strongest missionary uh, province converting ideas in the game within their idea set with the missionary strength bonus that they get from their national ideas. So you really don't need religious ideas to convert with Najd. So we're going to swap to a more economic focus idea set. Additionally, we are not going to be needing the Deus Vault. A, because the Sunni land is all around us, we really aren't going to be able to use Deus Vault very effectively. And B, because we're also going to be forming a step horde. So after we take our tribal reforms, we can form into a step horde and start raising provinces, as well as use that tribal conquest CB to basically have a free Deus Vault and raise provinces and really, really expand rapidly in the mid game. So with that being said, guys, let's jump into the campaign and start us off. All right, ladies and gents, today we're going to be playing as Naj. Now, it's been a while since I've played as this country, but um, with the new Arabian Tree of Missions, it's going to make conquering a peninsula and getting a bunch of other achievements off my list very easy. One big one is this new mission here, the Harsh Desert. All we need to do is develop a couple provinces 20 times, and it removes the Desert and Coulter Desert provinces um, penalty and gives you an additional 15% local development cost. So developing the desert is going to be super cheap. So we're going to be playing pretty tall over here in Arabia um, and then expanding a little bit later on and, and getting a couple other achievements. But I want to play a very tall Arabia game and that is the goal here. So without further ado, let's get into our estates and we'll do this very quickly and we'll try and speed it up for us. We'll take the admin cost. We will take the oversight. We will take the Religious Diplomats, that'll help us get some allies. Clerical Education for the Reform Progress Growth. From the Emirs, I want the Military Power. I want the Levies for the 14% additional manpower while we still have influence over there. And then uh, that it makes them exempt from seized land, so they're going to they're gonna stay pretty high up there, but uh, that manpower bonus is going to be really nice in the early game. We'll take the Red of Council, we'll take the Supremacy, just to get some lo loyalty from everybody else. And then we'll also take the Officer Rights for the General. From the merchants, I want the patronage, I want the free enterprise, and to be honest, I want the loan. So we'll just take those out right away. It's not a lot of gold, 25 ducats, but um, that's more than nothing right now. And then these guys will get the, the mini rights and we'll take the protected dominion communities for the additional religious unity. We're gonna be taking a lot of Shia provinces. If you look at the religious map mode, there's gonna be quite a few Shia provinces over here and down here that we're going to need to take. So I want to keep that uh, religious unity pretty high. We'll summon the diets, and then we'll seize land. We want an admin advisor, we'll take that one. Seize land right away. And we'll take the stab cost. We're gonna be needing that fairly shortly. Um, our ruler is old, and he's going to be dying very shortly. Uh, one thing you can do as Naj is you can re-roll to get better rulers. Maybe I should have done that, but um, we'll just play with what we have. The age is always set, but the pips are always changing, I do believe. 
or at least uh, at least these are changing. Um, we'll just match rivals here. I'm not terribly worried about um, the rivals getting some allies. We can deal with it um, with come what may. We'll take the general and we'll take the missionary strength general. Oh, no siege pip. Four maneuver, that does nothing for us, so. We'll have to uh, assign these guys. Um, the one siege pip is good. There is a fort here, which we do need to break down, so that's going to be unfortunate if we can't. Um, and then we look at the missions. So we need to have a army size of 90% force limit to get claims on everything surrounding our capital area. So all of this stuff we get claims on, and we just need to build the free company in order to do that. So we'll build them there, and then we can unpause after seeking possibly a royal marriage with these guys. Excellent. And then maybe we'll um, ally Hormuz as well make them our buddies and then we can wait until the 11th of december to see what happens next okay we get the mission for the tribal allegiance and we get all of these claims so that's gonna be really nice unfortunately these guys are uh, guaranteed and then a subject of the mamluks so at some point we need to fight the mams which is why we're allying this mamma jamma up here the mamluks are going to be our biggest challenge in the early game Hopefully the Ottomans don't uh, box us in later as well, because if they start wanting our land, they will break an alliance, and we need them to fight the Mamluks. So the Ottomans are definitely a must-have buddy. Now we need to wait a couple more days, and we can go to war with somebody. You gotta be kidding me. Allied with the Mamluks, really? All right, they didn't get an ally, so we can fight them. We'll take this province, and we'll go to war. Take the Siege Pip guy here. We'll reinforce with these guys. See if we can't fight these guys over here. We'll stack wipe. We'll siege this down, and we'll full annex Dawas here. These guys, we take land and all their money. We do want to make sure that our autonomy is as low as possible. So uh, once these are our full cores, we're going to state everything up and get our autonomy going downwards. Move these guys up here. We're going to go to war with these guys. Their only ally is Beha, and they're kind of locked in here. Um, so I doubt they're going to get access through the Mamluks, and even if they do, we'll have stack wipes probably uh, all of Shamar's guys by then. So that'll hopefully be helpful. All right, take that as the war goal. Catch these guys out. They're going to get a, a leader there. Morale is not as high as mine. They do get the month tick. But we're going to stack wipe them anyways. Also, what's an issue is that we didn't take any land from anybody with feudalism. We, um... We're taking non-feudal land, which is going to make it harder for us to embrace. So that's uh, that's unfortunate. All right, so we can separate piece out of these guys. I want all of their money. 18 ducats is good enough. Now we can full annex these guys and go home. Can invite a scholar. It's going to cost some admin. Dev cost, that's really good. Um, we'll wait on that until we're ready. I'd like to probably dev some stuff now, get closer to that mission, but... Might need to wait a little bit. These guys are being attacked. Unfortunately, I was going to try and go to war with them next. And see, I have a spy network here and a claim on the province. So we'll cancel that. Um, and maybe we'll try and fight these guys too. So we'll start a spy network on them instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to statify Dallas Sears provinces. And we're going to full core all of that. Try and get our economy to go even lower. And we can finish the war. Get some money. And start the course up here as well. That gives us years of separatism, minus 10. And some more permanent claims. And this one gives us 30 tribal allegiance, manpower, and land attrition. And some even more claims. Alright, well, we got claims in the Mamluks, and we got claims down in Hormuz and stuff. Um, they are our only ally. We're going to try and ally Timurids and break the alliance with Hormuz, and in five years, we'll try and attack them as well. And we can take any one of these actions. This might be a good click for later, so we're going to save this, because we get ten, six free cavalry uh, for a fraction of the time. So that might be a really easy way to uh, help us in a tight, if we're in a tight spot with our uh, military. Make sure we send the alliance to the Ottomans. That's very important. Start building some favors with them. Might even curry favors. Use this diplomat to do that next time. And we can ally the Timurids. In which case, I'm going to break the alliance with Hormuz. Maybe that was a poor decision. Um, I just need to... I need to have somebody... I need I need to have somewhere to expand to. 
So after five years, I'm going to try and um, go to war with Hormuz. That's just a huge route of expansion. So that was a mistake in the early game. It's whatever. We all make mistakes. And we're going to try and curry favors with these guys just so maybe we can call them into war um, with the Mamluks and expand in this direction. Make sure we decrease autonomy in every province that we can. Put that autonomy really, really low. Start making some more money. And also increasing our reform progress growth, which is really, really important to get that going. So we need to be turning into a horde that is going to make everything insane when it comes to uh, plunder and dev. We'll plunder and dev and plunder and dev and plunder and dev. This is going to be a little bit expensive on my economy, but we're going to conscript. And we'll take 10 years of combat ability as well. I need to get my units over here, and we need to go to war with Yemen. Let's do it. Uh-oh. How's our air? He's not very good, but we will boost. Feels really bad to do that, but we gotta, gotta do it. We can't stop our aggression, not for a second. Or shock. Come on, here we go. Got the reinforce. And we're taking a lot of uh, a lot of ducats in army maintenance. This does not feel good. I might want to restart just because I I think I screwed up with Hormuz. I think, I think my start was very not good. I think uh, I think you need to get one of these guys um, first, just because you need to get feudalism. Because otherwise I'm gonna fall behind on tech and I don't want to deal with that shit. So we're gonna we're gonna restart and see if we can get a better roll. Alrighty, let's make sure that we set our rival to Hassa before we do this war and i'm not going to rival the rest of these guys just yet uh we do have one more unit building here because this is a level two fort we do need nine units to start sieging it and uh, after this fight we're not going to have um quite nine units left so um we're going to fight them now and we'll take that as the war goal they only have the two units so i don't know what happened there they might have disbanded some of them because they had five earlier so maybe they're trying to save some money but that was just a mistake on their end Really simple fight there. And we'll send this 1k stack to make sure that we're sieging the province down. That was here's insulting us. They have allied Hormuz. That's not very fortunate. But um, I think these provinces are much more important than fighting Dawes here right away. Make sure that we're improving relations with the uh, two big potential allies here. Um, they're going to definitely need to help us out. Ottomans against the Mams and Timurids against um, probably Hormuz and Dawes here, to be honest. All right, the siege is over. Got to finish stack wiping the rest of their armies. And we'll full siege these guys down. And piece them out for just about everything, plus money. 45 ducats. And do that. We need to pay off some of these loans. We also need to embrace institutions, so let's do that right away. And pay off some of the high interest loans. I don't want to be spending all that money on all that nonsense. We need to core all this stuff up. We can take some government stuff now. Our power projection is a little bit higher. Um, let's make sure that we, we do match the rivals onto Shamar and Dawasir now. Um, Dawasir has some better allies. These guys are at war with... Anisa, uh, probably a, an offensive war. So we need to um, declare on them before the Mamluks do. Uh, but the first things first, we need to ally the Ottomans before Mamluks get any dumb ideas and attack us. And be also really good... We send the alliance this way to the Timurids. And my estates want this province to be um, developed a little bit. So we'll just do that a couple times probably. And we do get permanent claims for having uh, a total dev of a certain amount. So we get some more permanent claims over here in the Mamlux territory. And we will declare war in 20 days. All right. I'm gonna stack up these guys over here probably. Yep, that's done. Let the mercenary company take the attrition. And I'm definitely over the force limit, which is uh, losing me a lot of money per month. So I think after this war is over, we're just going to kill the free company. Because I think our, our routes of expansion are a little limited until we get some allies on board. So we'll just kill the free company. Save money, we'll do it right away. All right, the siege is over. We're going to piece them out for everything. And we'll recall this diplomat. We really don't need to ally QQ. That's just an extra option if you want to really storm onto the Mamluks. We could always put them back after this war is over all their money and we'll make sure to core everything up as well and then um now we can kind of just chill there's a few things we can do to fix our economy we've gained quite a bit we've embraced the feudalism make sure we set the rest of our rivals we'll set the other one to hormuz and we can make sure we ally the timurids as well 
All right, so now we're going to start getting some favors with these guys. Timurids, we can call in against Hormuz and Dawis here. Ottomans, we can call in against the Mamluks. And um, we can just kind of chill and um, build our economy up a little bit, maybe catch up on tech, and see what we can do in that department. Paid off our 1% loans. We take this again. Give us some more loans in that department. So now we'll pay off our 4% loans that we took. So we were way over force limit. And we'll pay off a couple, one more of those 1% loans as well. Brings our economy a little bit better. Inflation's up a little up there, but uh, we should be okay. And we're going to turn off the fort for now. Actually, probably should keep the fort on. We'll take a little bit of debt, probably, but um, we're going to have to deal with some rebels. So we'll keep our army maintained as well. You can invite a scholar. It's free um, for admin tech cost. So we're going to need to do that. Ooh, we, we get a dope air. That's awesome. And this is the big one. Make sure we get our tech four. Um... If we can fight them before they get tech 4, that would be insane. Uh, one more reason away. One more reason away for the Timurids to join our fight. So we'll start our maintenance over here. Dude, they're in debt? Are you kidding me? That's a lot of debt, too. What the heck? Who are you fighting? Really? Damn. Well, four more years and they can maybe help us. Oh boy, Shah Rukh died. These guys might uh, fall apart. Any other rivals? Mara, maybe? Yeah. Might have to. Alright, uh, manpower would be really good uh, if we were really on the warpath, but we need the uh, we need the money. The, the corruption and the tax is going to be really helpful. And um, we can take this, but I'd rather start saving up a little bit of a war chest. And paying off um, a little bit of this interest as well. Oh my god. Sweet! Almost broke alliance because they declared on somebody. That was just all alone. And Yas won't help either. Opportunities present themselves. This sucks. Lost a stab there. Um, I guess I'll boost it back up by one. Really behind on admin. Um, but we'll declare war here. And we'll uh, get some claims over in Hormuz, based because of uh, full occupying and annexing Daoists here, so that's pretty good for us. Alrighty, we get the occupations before uh, Hormuz does, so we're going to be able to full annex them without any issues. And uh, the only issue is that Ajam is allied to them, so maybe if the Timurids finish their bankruptcy that they're in currently, um, and attack Ajam, we can fight Hormuz. So that would be really, really nice. Got a loan to hire a Diplo Advisor just so we can get this mission completed. Um, we get some admin power. We're still behind on admin, so we're going to take that. And then that enables this mission to be completed whenever we dev stuff up. So um, that's done. This one, I do need to have an advisor of everything. Um, but we also need to wait till we get piety to even bother clicking this, achieve or clicking this mission. Um, that just increases the ability for us to convert, so... Yeah, just got to get some piety, and then we'll uh, we'll go and hire advisors, and we'll be good to go. I'm going to kick this advisor as soon as I can. I'm just not making enough per month to justify an advisor right now. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll rehire them later on. And uh, no surprise here. Everybody is going to war with the Timurids. They are no longer my ally. Loss in prestige, that's going to be fine. Um, these guys are in that war, I do believe. No, they're not, but the Mamluks are. Maybe now will be a time for the Ottomans and I to attack the Mamnis. We'll see. They have 30k. Ottomans have 36. Mamluks do have more manpower, but we'll see how this uh, how this war goes and if they're drained at all. Because if we can uh, we can take all of this, that would be phenomenal. All right, Davos here is pieced out. That gives us some more claims and some tribal allegiance. We finish this mission right away. That gives us more tribal allegiance, some army tradition, and we get some mill power. So that's pretty sweet. And um, now we just have to tr get uh, some claims on uh, all this stuff here. That is a lot of permanent claims. We really haven't done much yet, so there are options for expansion. Just have to look and see um, who would join and who would not join. Ottomans would come in for call uh, for for promised land. Uh, we're gonna ask Ottomans to prepare for war. Hopefully that'll allow them to come in here without uh, promise of land, and it will. So we're going to fight these guys in QQ. We're just going to take all of QQ's money. Most of that will probably go to the Ottomans because of war participation, but a uh, little known fact, if you take war reps, you get all of the war reps. So even if the Ottomans do most of the work, we're going to be getting those war reps. 
And we'll probably full NX Mushasha here. They just have a lot of the trade coming into Basra here. And we really need that. And then after that war is over, hopefully Hormuz um, will be ready to get beaten. So that is the current idea. We'll get our units in place and we'll declare that war. All right, here goes nothing. Let's declare the war. Hopefully we don't get um, eaten really quickly um, because uh, QQ's units might be there first. Ottomans just have to move their guys down. They'll probably try and piece me out first, so I need to be careful I don't get caught out here. Slow the speed down a little bit. These pop-ups are getting kind of ridiculous. Morale, I kind of need that. We'll do that. Ottomans are going to stack wipe these guys here, probably. Well, they are tech 5 mil versus tech 4, so... They have the upgraded units. Make sure I get the occupations. I misclicked a f oh, ah. God damn it. What a waste of admin. You gotta be kidding me. Waste of 10 admin on a stupid click, misclick. That's unfortunate. I don't know why, but these guys are getting senior defectors, and I keep getting cores on um, all their stuff, so that's... I mean, that's that's really, really convenient. So if I go to war with these guys again, which I probably will in the near future, uh, I'm going to be able to take a lot from them if this keeps happening. And uh, before we even peace out of this war, I'm going to go to war with Hormuz. Ajam is um, currently occupied in the, uh, the, the Timurid destruction happening over here. So before that war pieces out, we're going to take as much as we can from these guys. And we'll slowly start moving this way while the Ottomans finish um, occupying QQ and we can piece them out for a bunch of money. Okay, we're not actually going to take our two cores here. We're just going to do money and war reps from QQ. Wait a day. And we'll piece these guys out as well. Make sure we take all of their money. And uh, all their provinces. It's not an issue with the aggressive expansion, so we'll do that. And to be honest, it might be wise to, uh, to concentrate. I will reduce. There we go. I'm going to try and repay the one percenters. And we should be able to take out some more one percent loans. And we can repay the four percenters as well. Excellent. Now we're making a little bit more money. We might even be able to hire some uh, mercenaries if need be, because to be honest, they're outnumbering us a little bit here. So I might have to hire the free company. Gonna put us a little bit over um, our force limit. We we're gonna be losing some money, probably taking out some more loans, but uh, I need to win this war pretty quickly. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna be taking this ahead of time. Um, I don't know if I wanna upgrade my units just yet. Actually, I do. They're far enough away we can get those morale ticks. And... We'll do that. All right, we're going to piece out Hajamat for some money. All right, so we devved our capital another two times with some mill points because we're a little bit ahead. We get some uh, bonus income and some free money, as well as some local dev cost reduction for a long time. Uh, that completes this mission as well, giving us 25 years of trade power. So that's pretty sweet. Um, this one, we just need to put a cathedral there, um, and that will uh, give us some more missions. And if we can dev, dev it to 25, we get um, some stuff. Just a bunch of free dev, really. And if we look over at the mission for the Harsh Desert, we need 13 more deving until we can get the bonus. I'm still not sure exactly what I want to do for the first mission group. I'd like to get a military idea, um, but economic would be pretty sweet, too. So just got to build our economy up, and we should be good to go. The rest of the stuff will come later. But um, infrastructure, I'd like to try that out. Econ economic, I know it's just going to be good. I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to get aristocratic. Really, really tempted to try it. Um, but I, I just think economic is just going to be way, way better. Okay, stack up these guys. Um, I don't think I can get onto their capital. But I am able to take all this stuff. And then if I could take some money as well, that would be sweet. I'll take the money and I'll take those provinces. I want to reduce the dev in these, in these provinces as much as possible. And we'll make sure we core all the stuff making us overextended. Or we start coring the stuff making it states over here. Really like to save up on my admin here, but unfortunately we have to expand. So we uh, we need to make some more money. 
We can just half state everything, really. It's not we don't need to full state it just yet. Then our units over to deal with the rebels, and we will slowly start to make ourselves more stable now that we have a bit of an economy going. Uh, we're bringing in seven ducats a month now, so that's pretty good. Get rid of some of our interest. Um, start paying off some of these loans, and we can set another rival. We'll just we'll go for Fars. They're independent now, right? Our truce with these guys is going to be up in five years. Uh, before that, we might actually be able to declare war on the Mamluks. I like the Transox, unfortunately, because of the support independence. But um, we're going to take this uh, a little bit, um, I guess, technically behind time. But we have not embraced Renaissance. So we're still going to take it. I think my idea groups, to be honest, the ones I want to take, I want to take quality. And I want to take economic. This way, I can stack the discipline without sacrificing um, without sacrificing too much, right? So I get the economic to play tall. I get the quality ideas for strong units. Um, and I'm going to need them because the Ottomans took quality already, too. And I will have to fight them um, sooner rather than later, to be honest. I have to use them while I can to fight the Mams, but eventually I'm going to need to be able to beat them. So we're going to go for the quality ideas. Let's see, is anyone able to offer me knowledge sharing? If I go to economy, Ottomans would, they just don't have it yet. Uh, price missionary guy. We can also afford him now without going in deficit, so that's awesome. We're going to start getting all of our advisors here just to get the extra power projection. Not extra power projection, the extra points per, per turn. And um, hopefully we'll start to catch up on our tech a little bit right now. Uh, we have no air. Oh, we really need a good one. Um, thank God this guy is ahead on the admin and he's decent in mill. So we definitely, definitely lucked out with him. And we we need to catch up. Well, this is just dumb. The Ottomans piece these guys out. Give me a couple provinces, but but I don't have cores on them. And I can't... Oh, I guess I can. For them. But that was that's just silly. I guess it's adjacent to a core of mine. Yeah, that is just really silly. I guess I have to wait for the truce to come up in 15 years. Jeez. Take our next reform. We've been deving a little bit over here. I, I don't like doing it, but I really want to get to these uh, the next missions here. We're four dev clicks away from getting a really, really, really cheap province development bust. So that's, that's going to be awesome. Once we catch up in tech, of course, we can start abusing that. Uh, we're going to spend some money and we're going to get some knowledge sharing from the Ottomans. All right, I've been... I just really wanted to get this mission done. Uh, we devved everything up. Oasis development. Here it is. Yes, please. That makes it so much cheaper. Okay, so it still has the penalty. So it, I, I, mis, I misread it, but it's that's still a lot cheaper. So uh, we, we can definitely play pretty tall here and not have to worry about... Um, Wasting our points due to the terrain. So that's pretty sweet. So we can just... We'll turn that off and we're not going to develop everything just yet. But we do... We do need to get um, the Renaissance. It's spreading a little bit over here. Let's take indebted to the merchants. Feels bad, but we're going to use that to embrace. And we're going to take the tech. And uh, now we're finally ahead of time on tech, but on, only by a year. So we have to uh, try and limit our dev spending. We've been clicking way too many times lately. Okay, we're finally able to get our next idea group, so we are going for economic. And we're going to dump everything into here as fast as we can, because we are ahead of time by 12 years. So, uh, dumping our Eben into finishing that idea group. And um, we need to catch up, because we're currently getting a little bit of a penalty for unbalanced research in dip. Um, and then mill tech, we're not current level tech. We're a tech behind, so if Mamlux gets to tech 7, we'll be a little, little bit behind. Um, but we're going to be declaring war on them very shortly. If we ask Ottomans to if we ask the Ottomans to prepare for war, they will join without um, the promised land. So that will help us as well as uh, Transox is not there. I built a bunch of uh, infantry, so we're going to be doing that click for a bunch of cav. We'll start building on my capital um, fairly quickly, and we don't need this edict anymore. We have only a few more provinces yet. We're just getting our religious unity up there pretty quickly. The uh, national ideas are really, really helping us out with a 2% missionary strength, so that's pretty sweet. All right, here goes nothing. Declare that war. We'll be also be able to take Medina before we peace out of everything as well. So that's uh, another little loophole we get to abuse. All right, just to piece these guys out of the war, I'm going to take all of the provinces I have claims on and just leave them with the one. That allows us to take some money and even get some more reps as well. All right, we piece this out for money and war reps and a null treaties with Hormuz. Now we have to go unsiege all our stuff. All right, we go ahead and click this mission. 
That'll move us to 90 piety. We can now click this one to get a bonus stability, as well as get the uh, extra tolerance from this mission, and double the enforced religious unity policy, so that way we can convert a lot faster in our states. We can also take this mission from conquering our lands earlier, get us some extra ducats. We don't have to take loans out for the rest of this war, which will be nice. All right, I think it's time we declare this war here. We'll head over this way. Hopefully the Mams leave me alone, the Ottomans can take care of them. Let's get this, and then we can build a couple of cannons that'll help us with our sieges. Build one for now. All right, these guys are full occupied, so we can piece them out for everything. It wouldn't give us war reps, but we're gonna take this peace deal. Yeah, the Ottomans are just beat up, and we're we're not gonna keep winning, so we gotta we gotta rest up a little bit. So that's our peace deal. We beat the Mams, get some missions done. So we get the Custodians of the Holy Cities, we get Permanent Claims, and 30 Years of Tolerance and AE Impact. So now we can get this one if we just get some provinces down here, which will give us some goods produced. This one we need to get some more provinces up here, and then we can get Permanent Claims on Egypt. Alright, here it goes. We're going to fight QQ again, and we're going to call on our allies, and it should be a fairly easy war. We just got to make sure we get the occupations of what we want before um, Ajam does. So we'll just... Try and occupy all this, really, and then our cores, and then we should be good to go. Here we go, take Big Dad as the war goal. March up there, and we'll split the stack off a little bit. All right, we take war reps and money from these guys. And uh, we need to reoccupy some of this stuff before uh, AQ gets greedy. Nice, we're able to get the occupation on everything we want. All right, we get all of our cores, all of our claims, and some money. And no one's really mad at us, so I'm pretty happy with that. That just makes us a lot richer, because that's a lot of trade from the Basra node right there. That completes another mission. We get the Baghdad House of Wisdom event. And some Diplo power. But I, I'd rather get the admin power. I don't think I can keep ahead of time on, on the innovativeness just yet. We can get that later, if need be. And I'll just take the admin. And now we can send our units. We start dealing with our rebels that we most certainly are going to be getting. And we're pretty set right now. We don't really have any other targets we really want. Uh, we just need to clean up Arabia, and then we can fight the Mamluks a couple more times, and maybe the Ottomans later on, after they're no longer useful to us. And we can form the Arabian nation any point we want. We do want to make sure that we stay as Naj for as long as we can, though we do want to get that mission. We get 500 provinces in the Sunni faith as Naj, which is um, going to be pretty hard to get. There's the Jihad. We're only at 56 at the moment. My economy is kind of in the shitter, and I'm going to sell titles, and I'll seize land as well. And then we're going to pay off some one percenters. And we're going to take the one percenters again. Our interest right now is at 3.38. We're just going to pay off all of the four percents now. And interest is down at 0.8. So that's going to help us tremendously, saving some money in the long run. This is an easy conquest right here. We're just going to start the war. Get a free province. All right, this is now all cored up. We're going to put it in a state. Keep it half stated for now. I don't have the admin to pour it as a full state. Actually, I think I might. Okay, might as well do that. I want to keep my autonomy as low as possible if I can. Province and money. Now we get the next uh, tier of government reform. We're going to take Ghazi warriors for the looting speed. Um, cab cost is going to be beneficial as well. And then we get to two more, and then we can become the horde. So that's going to be really, really useful. So. Okay, so we can take all but one province from these guys. We're going to do that, trap them inside the land here. And then Mara, these guys will just have to fight them the next time we go to war. 462 dev, we're above Portugal, so that's nice. That's They're going to probably get ahead of us, but I don't know if we can help it. Castile's getting eaten by Portugal? What? Dude. Look at the Maghreb. Oh my god. Portugal is a monster. They've already won a war with Castile at one point. They got three provinces up here. Castile must have guaranteed them or something. That's crazy. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. We dev uh, this province up to five. That will restore the Cradle of Gold. We can get some gold province. Or gold from the province here. Um, we can even uh, dev that a little bit higher. Uh, up to ten dev. And try and get some additional money out of this province. Full income now is 2.43, so that's really helpful. All right, we're going to declare war on the Mamluks again. We're calling the Ottomans. And we're going to co-belligerent Hormuz and Yemen. 
So we'll take these provinces from them, and then we should be able to um, beat the Mamluks a little bit better than we did last time. So we'll take as much as we can. Hopefully we can uh, occupy all this stuff before the Ottomans get into Egypt. I want to at least get um, a couple provinces over here and uh, try and get a lot of, little bit of trade in Alexandria. It'd be really nice to get my, my trade capital over there um, and start collecting. So funneling all the trade over here would be really, really good. Anyways, let's start the war. I want the war goal to be something close to me. I'll do that. So we want to try and piece Fars out. So I'm going to set Fars as a objective of the Ottomans. And we'll see how that goes. Wow, the Ottomans are just obliterating them. Holy heck. we got to try to occupy this stuff before they do. They want the same province as we do. And eventually they're going to stop that alliance with us too. we got to find another ally that's strong as they are. Maybe Muscovy could be a potential ally. All right, peace out, Hormuz. Or the one province. Pour that up. Okay, now we just take these guys out for their money and their provinces. Okay, we're going to be taking this in the peace deal. I put this at 45% overextension, plus all of these, which we should be able to manage that. Um, the next war we're going to be fighting is going to be a reconquest. We're going to release Syria from this province here. We'll reconquest all of this um, after a certain amount of time, but... Right now, we're just taking more reps and a bunch of money from the Mamluks. There's no point taking any other provinces right now. I just would rather catch up on my admin, and um, that will help me get some governing capacity and other things that I need right now. So, get some more missions done. We get this. This dev cost my 10% for 25 years, plus some dip power, which we need, or some ducats. I do need the dip pretty badly, so we'll take the dip power. So we're a little over our governing capacity. That's going to be fine once we uh, get the next tech. So just got to wait until the uh, truce is up with the Mamluks. In that case, we will reconquest from this province all of Syria's cores. And that will pretty much end the Mamluks. After that, the Ottomans will become the priority target number one. Looks like the cathedral finished, so we can get this for cost of advisors reduced. Now if we get the dev to 25... We get some extra dev cost reductions and extra tax income, which will be pretty sweet. And I'm pretty sure we already have it, so I don't know why it's not ticking. We have it at 25. Ah, five buildings. That's not going to happen until for a little while. Um, production will increase that by 0.18. Not bad. Woohoohoo! Amlux, the war ups are kicking in right now. At 111 ducats, they must have taken out loans or something, because that's a lot of money coming our way. Alliance breaking. No, no, no. You don't want to break alliance with me. They want so many of my provinces. All right, so I need to find a better ally. Um, at least the truce is timed up with mine, which is really nice. Um, so Ottomans don't... Poland doesn't like them. And France doesn't like them. France could be my ally if I rival the Ottomans. They're just really far away. And anybody else the Ottomans are rivaled with? Just France, maybe? Venice, maybe? Venice, maybe? Yeah, that's going to drop off. All right, so I'm going to improve relations with Venice. All right, we can take the next admin tech for the governing capacity. That'll fix some of our problems and give us some production efficiency. So we're going to be making a little bit more money. Um, we can also statify a few more things. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to uh, to full state stuff until after I get my next merchant from my ideas here. Um, if I want to take this, I'm going to be getting a lot more uh, income via trade, so we're going to wait to do that. So I can just half-state a lot of things. All right, let's get the extra merchant. Let's see where we can really place him. We'll try pushing and see how that goes, but I think it might be more worth to just collect everywhere. We can, we'll play around with it and see. Well, don't want to waste the legalism, so we'll just uh, do that. Do that. Jump right back up. Might be able to use this to upgrade our centers of trade. I think that's probably the best use of our money right now. Upgrade that. And I think now we just focus on paying down our loans. We have about 2.27 interest. I don't want this to go too much higher. Um, and we're making some really good money. I just need to uh, build some units at some point. So I got to save up some money. Get ready to take on some wars. Um, the truce over here. 13. This truce over here ends in 8. So we can fight the Rassids very shortly. Alright, this is a penalty because we don't have colonialism yet. Um, but I'm going to take it anyways. Um, and now I can just dump the rest of my admin into the idea group before we uh, probably embrace colonialism and then take the next tech. All right, we can take these guys out. Fairly simple war, just wipe and occupy. All right, so a couple things here. We 
finished our, our fifth building in this province, in our capital. Um, that allows us to finish this, getting some extra tax income and some dev cost in our capital. And that gives us um, additional five dev across the country. So just a bunch of free modifiers there. And getting some bonus income as well is never a bad thing. We are building some trade ships now. Um, I think that's just probably a good use of our money to make sure we can defend our ports. And this war is now over with, so we can take this province, take their money, and core that up. And now we are ready to do this war. We'll take Ajam there, and we'll take this as our war goal. This actually is a province that we have a claim on, so we might as well just do that as well. Occupy this. All right, peace out, Baluchistan. For some money and war reps. And while our troops are moving, we're going to upgrade our mill tech. So we're ahead of time. Well, let's make sure we take our next idea here. One more, we get the interest per annum, which is really going to help us a little bit in our economy. Inflation and the loans and all the other stuff we have going on. All right, Ajaran pays us some money and war reps. Free professionalism, always good to see. All right, we need to speed this up here and peace out. There's a few things we need to do. Get our units moving. Um, the one thing we want to do is you want to release this province. Because our truce is up with the Mamluks, we need to release Syria out of this province. So we go over to this. And we look for Syria. Alright, so we release Syria. Lots of conquest claims over here. But we also have a lot of reconquest claims. So we're going to go to war with the Mamluks very shortly. I'm going to see if I can't get Ethiopia to be a buddy of mine. We can call them into the war as well, because I need a little bit of help over here. And Ethiopia will be a great distraction for the Mamluk soldiers. Additionally, the Ottomans and AQ might help if they finish up this war over here. But call at least AQ in. The Ottomans aren't my ally anymore, unfortunately. But I right, send the alliance over to Ethiopia. They would come in if I promised them land. All right, we're going to make AQ and Mamluks not like each other. Whoa, they'll return a core province for me? That's nice. I thought I had to break the alliance and go to war for that, but that's sweet. I didn't realize that was a thing. Awesome. Interest per annum and trade power. Oh, thank goodness. AQ finally rivaled the Mamluks. They had improved relations with them to, like, max, so... I'll be able to declare war on them pretty shortly. I just want to... I just don't want to give Ethiopia land if I don't have to. It just makes it a pain in the butt. I'd rather keep them as a defensive alliance ally. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. All right, we're going to take the... Government capacity from these guys. And we need to rehire an advisor. Let's just go for the tax right away. All right, we can get knowledge sharing from Aragon. So it's going to be a little bit expensive, but definitely worth it. All right, this alliance is useless now. We're going to ditch them for uh, Poland. Oh, this took forever. All right, we're just going to loan up. And embrace. Oh, that's expensive. And for our next idea group, um... Probably want to dip our idea group right now. This would have been really good um, earlier on for the reform progress. I believe we get reform progress. Yeah, 20%. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be in the cards. We're going to be getting horde stuff sooner soon enough. So go trade. That wouldn't be bad. Make a lot of money if I do trade. You know, I never go trade ideas. This is supposed to be a tall game. We're going to, we're going to go trade. Screw Diplo. This is a tall game. We're going for trade ideas. And we're going to start to focus on to dip. So the Reformation just spawned over here in Cologne. And um, gosh, it's such a late Reformation. So I don't know how Europe's going to be. But um, League War is going to be quite a ways away. And the next stage is going to be a lot further away than we uh, anticipated. We probably could upgrade a center of trade and then just pop the Golden Arrow right away. Make sure to catch up on tech again. All right, we get this Naval Attrition. That doesn't help us until we get this. We need the Discipline ASAP. And the Abin. We're going to get this idea finished up, and then we can start coring all of our stuff to get our autonomy down. We are getting about one every single month, so that's pretty good. Um, that's helped out because our estates are really low, so we get our crown lands really high, rather, so we get 40% increased reform progress growth, so that's awesome. In the meantime, we're just going to declare war on QQ. We'll peace out Mazarandan for some money. And while this war is going on, we also get this, so that's going to be awesome. All right, we're going to uh, actually pillage their capital, too. I just don't have really any AE that uh, I'm going to have any issues with, so I might as well just gain some free dev. 
And uh, we'll send these guys back to the border with the MAMs, and then these guys will peace out the next day for their province and some money. Alrighty, we can finish up the quality ideas, get some cavalry flanking, get our policy for the discipline, and um, that's going to put us, hopefully, on par with the Mamluks. The morale, we're really solidly above them. We're still 10 discipline down. They might have an advisor, but I think the morale and the we're close enough with the discipline, we should be good to go. All right, we take the dip tech. We can study technology now. It's going to make our mill tech cheaper. Of our spy network with Mamlux, who have the tech 11. And we're going to take that tech 11. And uh, now we're on the same level as these guys. Thank God. So we are making a little bit more money. And what I'd like to do is probably hire some more units. Um... Our balance is only that way because of our forts, though. Maybe I won't. I really wish that some of my allies would go into this war with me, but it's too far, I guess. All right, we're going to declare war again, and we're going to go for Haleb on Reconquest. And hopefully Ethiopia can deal with Funjin and Ajaran on their own. I am not marching my units down there. I have to deal with the Mamluks. They're going to be fighting me tooth and nail for these forts. Or we don't need to barrage because they're just naturally going to do a wall breach on both of the forts. Which is just excellent. I'm going to save my manpower. I'm not going to be assaulting these forts. We get fast enough siege and the age is over. Maybe I should have got my golden arrow. That's unfortunate. Um, That's okay. Alright, we're fighting the mams there. Why are they so strong, dude? I guess I can add an extra stack, but I don't... Oh, thank god they've retreated. Yeah, man, that extra 5% discipline, or I don't know what it is. Maybe their they're, they're general's better? No, mine's got 5 fire. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe their units are just better because I'm still a, a tribe? That's probably it. All right, as far as we'll give me money and war reps, I don't know if they're going to be able to reinforce in time here. Nice. I want... Just give me war reps and some money. All right, get money and war reps from Ajaran. We're still getting ticking war score, which is the big thing. Do we get any better advisors here? For CG, I could use that, to be honest. Stack wipe the Tunisians. Excellent. Are they going to be uh, sad? They are sad. I like it when Tunis sad. Okay. So we get Tunis out of the war, and now we're at 87% war score. Still not quite enough reasons. All right, we got Cairo. All right, now they should want to peace out. Why are you green, by the way? What do you mean you're making gains, dude? I have 6,000 men left. I'm making gains. Yeah, okay, dude. Come on. We take all of this from them. How much does Ethiopia really get good? They get nothing. They did jack shit except for be a distraction, which was useful. Um, we get the reconquest and we get the money. Excellent. Um, that fulfills a mission. I feel like we haven't done these in forever. Giving us some defensiveness and a 80 tradition general, which um, we're going to have to use on the Ottomans. Because if we don't fight them now, we're going to have a big problem. Um, Commonwealth is our ally. They will come to war with us. We get the general. He is six shock. Okay. Alrighty, the time has come. We shall form a, a great Arabian horde. And we shall abuse the hell out of these new mechanics. And still... We can no longer get the uh, tribal unity, so that locks off a mission from us. That really locks me out of a few missions, actually. We can no longer get the uh, the desert worm achievement, desert power, because we need to have oasis development. So uh, maybe we'll have to change from a horde back to something else later on. We'll have to see how this goes. Well, everybody, that does it for this episode of the campaign. In the next episode, we're going to expand Islam using the powers of the Horde Raising and try to get closer to that 500 provinces for the Najd achievement. If you want to see more edited EU4 campaign content like this, please make sure to subscribe. We're going to be posting every Thursday and more if possible. The rest of this campaign will be out shortly, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.